Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to install this update that is KV5031354. Or if you're unable to install this update that is KV5031323. So if you're unable to install these updates on your Windows 11 computer and if you're receiving this error code that is 0x800705b9. So if you're receiving this error, then please follow the steps shown in this video. So the first step is to run update troubleshooter. For this, open Windows settings. And then go to system and scroll down and then click on troubleshoot. Click on other troubleshooters. Over here, you can see Windows update. In front of Windows update, you can see the run option. Click on run. And once the troubleshoot is complete, restart your computer. And after the system restart, try to update your Windows 11 once again. But still you are unable to update your Windows 11, then restart Windows Update and Background Intelligent Transfer Service. For this, type in Services in Windows Search box and then click on Services. Now find Windows Update in the list. Here you can see Windows Update. Make a double click on Windows Update. Set it to Automatic. Make sure Startup Type is set to Automatic and then click on Apply. Click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. Now with Windows update selected, click on restart. Make a right click and then click on restart. Now find background intelligent transfer service. Make a double click, set it to automatic. Click on apply, click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. Make a right click once again and then click on restart. Now once this is done, now you can try to update your Windows 11. Now still you are unable to update your Windows 11. Then the next step is to use Windows 11 installation assistant. Now for this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Over here you can see Windows 11 installation assistant. So click on download now. So click on download now. And then run this exe file. Click on yes to allow. And over here you can see accept and install. So click on accept and install. And let the download complete. And once this is done, you can restart your computer and your Windows 11 should be up to date. Now the next step is to use Microsoft Update Catalog. For this, copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. Open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft Update Catalog website. Over here, write down the name of the update that is KB5031354. Then click on search. Now over here, this is the right one for me. Windows 11 version 22H2 X64 based system. So you can check the version, you can type in W-I-N-V-E-R and then click on Winver. And in my case, it's version 2.2 H2. So, and I have X64 based system. You can check what kind of system you have. You can go to system over here and then go to about and the X64 is my system. So Windows 11 2.2 H2 X64 based system. This is the right one for me. If you have version 2.3 H2, then this might be the right version for you. So select your update as per your system and then click on download. And then click on this file and then let the download complete. Now once the download is complete, you can click on it and update this update manually. Similarly, uh, to update your windows with this, that is KB5031323, again go to my Microsoft Update Catalog website. Over here, you can search this update, click on search. And again, uh, for me, it's uh, Windows 11 version 2.2 H2 X64 based system. So click on download and then click on this blue hyperlink and then let the download complete. Once the download is complete, click on it and update these two updates manually and then restart your computer. Now still your Windows 11 is not updating. In that case, reset Windows update components for this. Copy these commands. These commands are provided in the video description. So copy till here. 
and then open notepad in the computer so type in notepad in windows search box and then paste all the commands in notepad and then go to file and then click on save as and you can set the location as desktop and you can name this file as wufix.bat so over here type in wufix.bat and for save as type select all files and then click on save now once this is done go to desktop over here you can see wufix file make a right click on wufix file and then click on run as administrator make sure that you are opening this file as an administrator click on yes to allow now this will open command prompt first of all it will stop all the windows update services and then it will run some scans now the scan will take some time there are couple of scans so the scan will take some time and once the scan is complete it will restart all the windows update services once that is done once the process is complete then restart your computer and after the system restart you can try to update your windows 11 once again now the next step is to use media creation tool to update your windows 11 for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website now we can see media creation tool click on download now and then run this exe file click on yes to allow Now click on accept. Now click on next. And over here select ISO file. And then click on next. Now you can set, save it to desktop. Now click on save. And let the download complete now once done click on finish and then go to desktop over here you can see windows make a double click and open this now over here you can see this setup file so run this setup file click on yes to allow Now click on next. Now click on accept. And over here, it will again go, uh, check for updates. It will get some update. Let the process complete. Now over here, you can see the option which says ready to install, install Windows 11. And here you can see keep personal files and app. Make sure this is checked. Now when this is checked, you will not lose any data on the computer. Now click on install to update your Windows 11 using Media Creation 2. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to install these updates successfully on your Windows 11 computer. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.